back on and I had to turn it off for a little bit to let it do something else for a minute so what I've been saying is that I have been turning it on easy mode for when the horde is out and putting it back you know you know what though at this point I'm just I don't want I don't care it's on easy mode right now I want to just I want to see how this plays out maybe someday and I'm, oh man, freaking ballista's too far away. There's not, oh, the one that's jammed is over there. Ow. Okay, um. As you wish. Yeah, for the last 15 minutes, I've been turning it off and on, um. On easy mode and, and normal mode. Because the horde is just ridiculous. And I, I don't have enough area of effect spells to be able to do it well. So, yeah. But I've been trying to use the ballistas better. And I've have been having Zev fix them, but he can only fix them so many times, it looks like. I think he's a, he does have trap. I guess that's, that has something to do with the trap, with the trap making skill. Because that's what pops up when, uh, when it needs to be fixed. Where'd he go? Oh, you're over there now. Um, well, there is one right behind your butt. Oh, right there. Okay. Oh, hey. It's hordes again. Hordes of guys. Okay. Why did I do that? Oh, why don't you call more, more friends? No, 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 more friends. Uh, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna call in the Red Cliff soldiers. Ah, it's raining. I've been like yelling this whole time that it's raining like fire at on me, like demon fire, which is kind of is, but okay, get off me. Let's get uh, started. Maybe, no, okay, maybe I should put a glyph of repulsion right here. Okay. And uh, I don't know. Well, I'll try to keep an eye on my lightning down there. Hopefully, if I focus on the 
the ballista though, I can have enough mana for it. I have to wait for the timing of it. Uh, there's a bunch down there. Okay, I'll just put it down there. health pull yeah because I ran out of lyrium dust yeah. I want to bring whoa yeah that was uh okay let me try to distract it come on I'm trying to help you <gasps> oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh I took the blow! I took the blow! Yeah! Oh my gosh! That's Baron Tegan! Oh, come on, Morgan, let this work! Zev is still alive. I was kind of worried he might he might die, like if he died in the battle, that I <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh, it didn't kill him, it just makes him run away. I like that, he gets like bumped into. Again. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, I am not sure. Oh my gosh. That was epic. <gasps> Wait. Oh, it's me! And then. I'm alive? It was over. I saw me! I saw me! With the Archdemon <laughs> dead, the Darkspawn horde quickly crumbled. Okay. Most fled oh my gosh! into the deep roads. They would remain a threat in the years to come. Of course, but the always. the light had been ended before it had truly begun. It was so began, Gun. That's Duncan speaking. Like, in the narration. Ferelden had been saved, and the entire kingdom rose up to joyously greet its queen. I wish you luck, Honora. I really do. Grey Warden stood redeemed, and a new age had begun. 
but at what cost? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please let everybody be alive. Please let everybody be alive. Because you'll be... You'll be crazy if you think I won't go back and replay that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My oh, I'm alive! I'm alive! We are gathered to celebrate those Thank you, Morrigan! Our victory. Oh, Alistair's still alive. Of oh, Zeb, you are good! The siege of Denerim, there is one in particular who deserves commendation. Ooh, Liliana's so pretty! The one who led the so charge against the Archdemon and killed it remains with us still. An inspiration Whoa! to all she saved that day. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the hero of Pharaoh. <laughs> it's me! The first Grey Warden to defeat the Blight since Garahel four centuries ago. I couldn't have done it without everybody's help. I really... Grey Warden, it is hard to imagine how you could have aided Ferelden more. Wow, I'm I the think hero! It's appropriate that I return the favor. Is there any boon you might request of Ferelden's queen? Um. Oh wow, what what to do on this? I ask that the Circle of Magi be given its independence. The sacrifices of the wardens should not be forgotten again. Um. I think at this point. Because, you know, the Circle of Magi is not going to be given its independence ever. And I'm a warden first now, not a mage. And I don't want to serve the crown. I have no desire to do that. I want to go wandering. I, I think I've deserved a little bit of me time. Me and friend times. Oh my gosh, guys. Like, there's those that, that phrase has new meaning to me now. Like, I've heard it before, you know, like the hero of Ferelden, but they just called me the hero of Ferelden, the character I've built up, Drathar, like she is the hero of Ferelden. This is amazing. Ah, oh, man. I'm, the, I'm gonna go with the sacrifices of the warden should not be forgotten again. An excellent point. We can begin with a monument here in Denerim, dedicated to Alistair and all the other Grey Wardens who fell to save us. Alistair's right behind you! to learn more about the Darkspawn. We'll face them again, here and with the dwarves. Let it That's also weird. be known that the Arling of Amaranthine, once <gasps> the land of Arl Howe, is now granted to the Grey Wardens. Oh my there gosh! They can rebuild, following the example of those who went before them. Really? What are your plans? Will you remain with the Grey Wardens? Well, there's no way to quit the Grey Wardens. Ooh! 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 Can I do that? Ooh! I like that too, isn't that not just I'm running away, but like, you know, at least for a time, just for a bit, until I'm needed again, I'm gonna go on my own. I think I will travel, at least for a time. I don't suppose the Grey Wardens are really in a position to stop you, are they? Then let me say, I hope your travels bring you back this way soon. Yes! You will always be welcome here. This is awesome! There is a group of eager Ferelden citizens waiting outside to get a look at their hero. I suggest you make at least a brief appearance before they storm the <laughs> gate. <laughs> Just tell the guard at the door when you are ready. Wow, you guys! Wow! Wow! <gasps> See, look, Alistair's still alive. <laughs> That's so weird. Um, uh, see, look, I showed you before, like, it said, I, I saw it, it was like, I was like, the alienage was fine. And then now it's like, the alien has been overrun, and the general never showed up. Um... A blight... Okay. Final battle. Archdemon is no more, the people for the main in peace. Okay. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. I can't believe this is the end of the game! I thought- I literally thought you had to die. I thought that was like, the op there was no option, but... Freaking... My gosh! Alright, Alistair, how do you feel? We went, and we destroyed... So... We destroyed it. We made it. <laughs> I'm impressed, aren't you? The I odds am. were completely against one of us actually getting to the Archdemon. But of course you would make it. I knew you would. I'm a mage I and I was like wielding a sword. that night. With Morrigan. Why you're still here, I mean. I'm not that dumb. 
That the rest was what of the I told Grey you, Wardens haven't arrived yet for more lay. But they've already sent. Oh, they would questions. know. Oh, what shoot. I, tell them? I didn't think about that. Um. Oh, shoot. I just want to be like, tell them a lie. Um. I guess, yeah, it's like this doesn't have to be the only way to do it. Technically. I guess tell them they're yes, wrong. Yes, all you need is a Malefica yep. willing to have your demon baby. <laughs> Who knew? No, he no, knew the I demon baby I'll part. i that to myself. I <laughs> yes, okay, good. Stupid. It's a talent. Speaking <laughs> of Morrigan, do you know where she went? Yeah. I'm told she vanished right after the battle. No goodbyes or anything. I don't know where she went, but I'll find Good her. Good riddance, I say. At any you rate, I'm looking know. forward to meeting the rest of the Grey Wardens when they come. We'll need to rebuild, right? And if I don't get the chance some other time, thanks for everything. Alistair and I can rebuild the Wardens. This is going to be good. Um, uh, this is hardly goodbye. Uh, I'll see. Um, no. This is You're hardly leaving, goodbye. You're aren't you? Oh. And I'm not. Well. I guess we'll see how things play out. Hmm. Good point, Alistair. But this certainly feels like an ending. At least for now. I'll let you also get to your beginning. adoring public. They want to see the hero of Ferelden. And who am I to keep them waiting? You're a hero too, though. The crowd is waiting for you outside. We can speak oh. more afterwards if you like. Okay, good. This is pretty. Hello, Honora. Allow me to offer you my personal congratulations, Warden. Thank I must you, admit my lady. that while I did not share my father's pessimism regarding the Grey Wardens, I had my doubts that such a small number of you could be victorious. Yet here you are. It wasn't... Darn right. It wasn't just us, though. Like, It was the fact that we were the, the tip of the spear that was pushed by everybody else. You know, we were in, the, we were leading from the front only because, like, because we probably wanted to and because we had to. We had to be supported by everybody behind us or we weren't going to get to the Archdemon. Because if it had just been, like, me and Alistair running up there, we'd have been dead almost instantly from the, from the hordes. You know, just in the, like, the front of the castle. Like, way back when we would have been dead if not for Flemeth, you know? So. Darn right. <laughs> Normally, I would call that bravado, but it seems your confidence is deserved. Now <laughs> I now. see Al Eamon gesturing to me. There is more work to be done. I must take my leave of you, I fear. Enjoy the take rest care. of the celebration, Warden. I shall speak to you again before the day is done. Okay, good. So these no are goodbyes. Hobby, Enjoy <laughs> your celebration. Uh, where's Evran? Is Evran here? Oh, I should probably go through an order. Hmm, okay. Irving's here. It is very strange to hear so many speak of a mage in such glowing terms. What's going to happen to win? Of course, but still not what I am accustomed to. Allow me to offer you my congratulations and my thanks. The tower is now nearly restored to Perfect. order. Perfect. Perfect. It could have been so much worse. Um, you're welcome, First Enchanter. It pleases me to see such a young pupil achieve <laughs> prominence. I look forward to watching what you accomplish next. Now, I should leave you to your celebration. <laughs> Holdred's revolt has left me very uh... quick to tire these days. Retirement will come soon, I think. Take care Don't of yourself, forget Irving. That all this adulation could change very. Quickly. Thank you. It is something we all live with. <laughs> Thanks for that little bit of downer but realistic note. I appreciate it. No, I really do appreciate that he said that, because it's true. In a couple of years, who knows what could happen. Look, there's dwarves and mages with their ridiculous hats and Liliana. She's gorgeous. Well, she's with the Chantry people, and her little nug! So here we are. The conquering heroine has won the day, and now she takes her bow and exits the stage. A fine ending. 
You should be taking a bow with me. And my part was small. I'm happy to watch you receive the accolades. It's quite She's fun. She's so pretty. You know, I can't help now but think of my vision. The Maker sent me to help you. And look what you did. It's a miracle. It truly is. I've been asked by the Chantry to return to the Urn of Sacred Places. Oh! Really? I need to make sure it's protected. Maybe pilgrims can even begin going there again. Um, but, but we were gonna go traveling, Liliana! Congratulations, sounds like fun. I expect to leave a month from now with a small army of Templars and priests. It will be a grand adventure of my very own. I'm looking forward to it. At any rate, you should get back to the celebration. We can speak another time. Can we? Everyone keeps saying that. Now I'm getting a little nervous. Severin! I love these green dresses. I, I think uh, I'll leave my hat on. It's whatever. I will be relieved when all this pomp and ceremony is done. You Such a perfect opportunity for assistance, <laughs> after all. I can't help but expect the crows to appear at any moment. Which would be a welcome break, mind you. Uh... A uh, bloodbath sounds like a fun idea. Um, you think the crows will still come Eventually, after you? Eventually. With Talisin dead, it may take them time to figure out what has happened. But they are like the tides. Predictable. You know, it does occur to me that staying in one place is only going to invite the crows to find me that much quicker. While fun, that might eventually get complicated. You said earlier that you are planning on leaving soon. Is that true? <laughs> I was really hoping this was the way it could work out. I really, really was. I was hoping that, because I was like, it'd be easier if we traveled to avoid the crows and all this stuff. And I, was, I had all these thoughts and I was hoping that I didn't think it would work. And I go, oh my gosh. Um, that is indeed what I said. <laughs> Only if you're leaving with me. <laughs> Naturally. Yes! You caught me and now you're stuck with me, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sad, I know, but we'll manage somehow. This is perfect! Well, this is everything I wanted! Around, I suppose we'll have plenty of time to speak later, yes? So go on and get paraded about. It's fun to watch. It's Don't worry. fun to watch? I'll keep an eye on you and make sure no one gets a clear shot. Not without paying me a great deal of coin, anyhow. <laughs> Does the Ferelden monarchy make much use of assassins? Hmm. I wonder if this is a good time to ask. Uh, I bet you if we'd, uh, we could probably try to convince Alistair to use you if he was king. Win. what are you going to do now, Wyn? The hero of Ferelden. <laughs> my, my. How does it feel? Uh, it's, it's a little strange. Of that I have no doubt. It's a title you'll be wearing for a long time to come. It's just true, Logan. more his. Yeah. But it's not so bad, is it? A blight defeated with the other nations barely becoming aware. I <laughs> could ask for better. I didn't do it on my own. I don't think many heroes ever do. I'm glad not to be on the receiving end of all this attention really? myself. I say, you people. let the young have their fame. Not that I've gone without notice. Irving asked me to take Whoa. over as first enchanter, but I don't wish to go back. You want to go travel but too, Wynn? all this, instead I've decided to travel. <gasps> ah! Oh, Shea! Shea! Has expressed oh! a desire to go to Devinter to look into a way to regain her mortality. And uh, I will join her. Wow! Um, but what about... Yeah, I'm really curious true, about that. I don't know how much time I have. Maybe not very long at all. So Don't go in. I shall see as much of the world as the Maker allows. Come with me. Perhaps this is a gift. We can travel end. together. A nudge in the right direction. I doubt we will meet again, my dear. If not, please accept my best wishes. Don't say that. All this talk is tiring. I think it is time for me to sample some of that lovely cider I smelled earlier. Now, where did it go? I couldn't have done this without you, Win. I really couldn't have. It 
feels like uh, Lord of the Rings when like the hobbits get back to the Shire and everything's all happy, but I kind of feel like Frodo in that like something is, you know, kind of still weighing me down in a way, I don't know, or something's gonna happen soon, I don't know. Humans have a better taste for spirits than I thought. Eh, the ale up here is actually good. Orzammar ale tastes like dirt in comparison. Probably yeah, well. because they put dirt in it. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, does that mean you're staying here? Yeah, for now. They may have already branded me a surfacer back home anyhow. I'm getting used to that big sky up there. And I'm thinking I might just look up Felsi again. She's right See where that next goes. to you. She's right next to you. I'm glad. Uh, I hope you two are happy. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Ah, uh, well, enough babbling. That pot-bellied son of a whore Tegan said I'd pass out <laughs> before drinking an entire barrel of pickle juice. I aim to prove him wrong. Oh my gosh, this is gonna turn... <laughs> Don't ever change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me? <laughs> Good traveling with you, Warden. Don't get lost in the shuffle now. You too. I'll see you around, Dogrin. <gasps> puppy! Are you gonna go with Sten, puppy? Are you gonna stay with me, or... Where's Sten gonna go? Sten looks awesome. It is good to see you again, Kadan. You too, These Kadan. These people, they call you hero. It is a strange word, but I think I understand its meaning. The Arishok on occasion has declared a Kunari to be Kunoran Vel, one who serves as an example to others. Ah. Such examples are always made after their death, however, a death in service to the Kun. A living Kunoran Vel would be too proud. Ah. Do Kunari celebrate and put on parades? When a Kunoran Vale is declared, certainly. It is one of few occasions when the Kunari are permitted to engage in revelry. There revelry! Is of spirits, public chanting, meditations <laughs> abandoned. Oh my it gosh! It is madness. <laughs> uh, that would be quite a sight. It is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it can take days for the Ben Hasrath to restore oh, order. Oh, shoot. There may even be executions. I suppose Shit, I should then. tell you. I have decided to return to my people. Your quest is done, and thus so is my reason for accompanying you. I'll miss you. Um... I could, wa I could walk you the way. I don't know. I could go with you if you like. Is that truly what you want? There is much to hold you here, and it is a long journey. Um. Well, is this like cutting off my chance to like go walking with Zev? Cause Zev can come with us, right? Um. I can always come back. If you truly wish to come, I have a ship prepared to leave in two days. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a Meet ship! At the docks after all the celebration is over. It would be good to continue our travels. If I do not see you there, Hanahedan Kadan, may you always find the path you seek. And you as well. Where is the cake? I was told there would be cake. What? The cake is a lie. What? Are you serious? Are you serious, Bibleware? You had to throw that in there. That's awesome! Oh, this is an old game! <laughs> I know it's the beaten dead horse joke now, but it's still funny. <laughs> Especially for him. In context, it is so funny. Puppy, you were a good boy. You saved the day. You kept the gate safe. Who are we missing? We're missing Morrigan. I guess we're not. Alistair's there, Zevran, Liliana, Ogren, Shale. I know she said something about Shale. I wanted to ask her about the mortality thing with Shale. But I guess not. Okay. Oh man, guys. Okie dokie, Smokies. It's 
It's been an honor. It's been good. Let's see what awaits us. Are you ready, my lady? The crowds outside are getting restless. You guys have rad helmets. Yes, I'm ready. Right. Let's go. I'll take <laughs> you there now. Follow me. <gasps> oh. Okay. Plans were conceived for a university. Wow. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm not reading it out loud because the last epilogue I was in, it went really quick. Okay, this one's going really slow. <laughs> oh, do I have to... Oh, I do. Okay. Despite Logan being executed in disgrace, Queen Honora insisted on building a monument to her father overlooking the Orlesian Embassy. The statue was largely ignored, save by Honora herself, who voyaged out to the statue once a year to place flowers at its feet. Good for her. As the years passed, Honora continued to rebuff the advice of Ferelda's nobility requesting that she remarry. Though prospective suitors from other nations visit Denarim from time to time, the queen's only comment is that all of them fall far short of the bar she measures them against, that of her father. News that the urn of sacred ashes has been found in Ferelden did not spread outside the Chantry until Brother Genitivi made an announcement several months after the defeat of Darkspawn. The manuscript detailing his research and his experience with the Andraste's cult drew huge interest among scholars throughout Thetis. Some years later, the Chantry announced that the resting place of Andraste's ashes had indeed been found. A ripple of excitement spread among the pious people of Thetis, with many undertaking pilgrimages to, to see the ashes or partake of their healing powers. I hope they use it wisely. Okay. Oh, okay. Following the months of effort, the Tower of the Circle of Magi was finally cleansed of the last spirits to slip through the veil. No further abominations were created, and First Enchanter Irving was pleased to declare the circle safe. All that could be saved had been. With the slaver shut down in the alien age, a lot of the city-born elves improved for a time. The law of the city-born elves improved for a time. A food shortage years later forced Queen Honora to come down hard on elven rioters in an act not quickly forgiven and a sign that t an act not quickly forgiven and a sign that tensions between the elves and humans were far from resolved. They never will be, I don't think. Shiani continued to become an outspoken member of the alienage community and in time became the new elder. That outspokenness earned her frequent trouble, but served her people well. Arl Eamon returned to Redcliffe, beginning the long task of rebuilding. He found the village already bustling and eager to leave behind the memories of those terrible nights facing the undead. Connor was sent off to study at the Circle, and considering his earlier experiences, he excelled in his training and easily passed the heroine to become a full mage. Oh! At his father's urging, Connor accepted a position in Tevinter to undertake formal study of the Fade. The Dalish elves prospered after the Siege of Denerim, having earned much respect for their part in the battle. For once, human lands won welcomed the wandering folk. The new keeper, Linnea, was respected both amongst the Dalish as well as in the Ferelden court. She was a voice of reason and other Dalish clans would turn to her to help resolve disputes with human folk. Okay. In time, many of the Dalish clans moved to the new land provided for them in the south near Ostagar. Wary of their human neighbors, however, tensions soon rose again, and only Keeper Linnea's leadership kept peace alive. In Orzammar, King Balin quickly proved himself a reformer. Trade with the surface lands increased and cattle restrictions were loo- or cased. <laughs> Woo! Uh, loosened. The caseless were permitted to take arms against the Darkspawn in exchange for new freedoms. For the first time in generations, the line in the Deep Roads was pushed back, and a few tigs were reclaimed. Fantastic! Balin's reforms quickly found him enemies within the warrior and noble case, however, and after several assassination attempts, the assembly was dissolved? The king then ruled alone. Some said as a tyrant, others said as a visionary determined to drag Orzammar into the modern world. Wow. Brother Burkle's new chantry in Orzammar uh, drew a surprising number of converts among the dwarves that quickly attracted a great deal of anger from more conservative quarters, and before long the assembly severely restricted the Andrastians' rights. Figures, right? Oh my gosh! He resisted and was slain while being arrested during peaceful demonstration in the commons. The assembly claimed this was an accident, but news of the... Uh. But resulting riots reached the challenge from the service where the divine began... She contemplated an exalted march against the dwarves, which are the last line of defense against the, uh... I'm turning it down a little bit. Hopefully you guys, it's not too quiet. Okay. I'm gonna turn it down on my ears too. I think I'm yelling. Um... Wow, you can't you can't do an exalted march against the dwarves. You did a march into the to the cave. That'd be stupid. That divides an idiot. 
the dwarven mage, ma no, dwarven, uh, she's not a mage, she's a mage studier, <laughs> researcher, Dagna, ultimately completed her studies at the rebuilt circle tower. Eventually, she published a comprehensive theory of how lyrium vapor relates to the supply of magic. It gained a great deal of attention. Okay. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Although the anvil of the void was destroyed, rumors about its location crept into Orzammar. Years later, thanks to the defeat of the dark spot on the surface, a few determined smiths managed to locate the anvil's remains. What? Oh. They examined the ruins of the anvil, and upon returning to Orzammar with their findings, convinced the shaper to attempt to recreate Keridan's research. A new golem was created, bound with a spirit taken from the fate. That's... That's not okay. That spirit... Did that spirit want that, or No. Yeah! <laughs> I was gonna say, it's probably probably like what happened with the Sylvans. The golem immediately went insane, killing several shapers before it was destroyed. The research was branded excessively dangerous and sealed away. Whispers of his existence circulated throughout Orzammar, however, and demand among the Smith case to reopen Keridan's research refused to abate. People just don't understand. They're like, I'll do better! And it's like, no, you won't. <laughs> oh, Morgan! As good as her word, Morgon disappeared once the Archdemon was slain. Some of Mo someone of Morgon's description was seen traveling alone months later, heading west through the Frostback Mountains, and she may even have been with child. Oh boy. She can't go through the Frostback Mountains when she's, like, pregnant. Oh! As for Durthara's companions, they went their separate ways. When Durthara finally left Denerim to continue her travels, Zevran went with her, electing to remain with the woman he loved. They continued their adventures together, at least for a time. As the Blighted Lands began to heal and the Grey Wardens slowly rebuilt the Order and Amaranthine, they discovered that the fight against the Darkspawn was not yet complete. Although the Horde was routed and had dissolved upon the Dar Archdemon's death, many of the more powerful Darkspawn survived to organize roving warbands that preyed upon both the land and upon each other. These warbands spread havoc, and some even journeyed west into Orlais or across the Shining Sea by the deep roads. They proved incredibly difficult to wipe out. But these tales are yet to be told. This tale ended when Durthara sank her blade into the Archdemon's head and destroyed it forever. It was not the last Ferelden would hear of her, however. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. Is that- Okay, these are the credits? Wow. Wow. You guys, that was awesome. Wow. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was going to go with Sten or not, but I wonder if we, like, kind of went with him, if Zev and I went with him for a bit. Wow. That was amazing. That ended exactly how I wanted it to, but how I was worried it wouldn't, you know? Like, I... I was under the impression the warden would have to die, but the whole child becoming a vessel of a of a of an old uh, old god like that's awesome, and like the fact that like Zev can come with me and like we can just go traveling and like, but I'll come back when I'm needed, you know, like, oh my gosh, and like like I like that some of like even the little like doing the chantry in the dwarven road like that was such a small thing to do and that showed up and the dagna thing like you wouldn't maybe think about the dagna thing as being important but it was like i knew that because i played inquisition but i've not heard anything about the dwarven chantry ever and i maybe maybe that will affect the game someday i don't know but uh okay whoa whoa okay <laughs> okay, I just clicked a button. Um, but, yeah, I... That was awesome. I hope you guys are happy with the ending. <laughs> um, cause, yeah, cause I've been playing, like, a, a, basically been playing this straight for, like, two days. Cause once I, especially once I got to the lands meet, I was like, let's just do it, you know? Um, but I really do appreciate everybody who commented all the time and helped me out and supported the series. Frog Raider was very helpful. BLTS or BLD, <laughs> BLTSD stubby. I think, I think I'm making, I'm putting some extra letters in there. Um, 
Uh, there's there's others too. I know I I can't think of you guys off the top of my head, and I'm sorry, but um, I actually wasn't sure I'd finish this tonight. So I was I also probably would have written everybody's names down, but um, all of you, thank you so much. This has been really awesome, and I'm glad that I played Inquisition and that I came back to play Origins, and oh my gosh, it was. It was awesome. I think it was more it was more of a cohesive story than Inquisition because it's a little more linear, which I liked for the cohesive story. Um but yeah. <laughs> that was it was I don't know. I'm not saying anything very especially eloquent about it, but I liked the linear more linear story. It's definitely got it's a little bit more ballsy than it's later, well than, than Inquisition. I don't know about Dragon Age 2 yet. I hear Dragon Age 2 has some pretty horrific parts in it too, but Inquisition is kind of, you know... Like, Dragon Age Origin starts out and it throws you, like, whatever beginning you choose, it throws you into a scenario that's uncomfortable. From what I can tell. Like, the City Elf, I'm pretty sure I know what happens. I think I know what happens with the Dalish Elf. The Mage one, that's horrible. Um... And... Well, actually, no, okay, the Mage one wasn't too bad. But, ah, ah, don't do that. <laughs> but I do plan on playing Awakening. Let's just, we'll jump to that. I'm going to play Awakening next. I'm going to finish downloading it. Um, and then I'm going to download Witch Hunt tonight as well. I've already bought them, but it just, it just didn't download properly. Um, but then once I complete those, I will be moving on to Dragon Age 2. And I will hopefully be uploading the save. Let's see. I know I was told to use an auto save. So hopefully this autosave is the one, the epilogue, K. Okay. Good. I was told to use an autosave because it's the least glitchy one to use. Um, so looks like we've got a good one there. But um, thank you guys again for your advice and your support. I really do appreciate it. Um, it's been really fun. I don't know what else to say. I've just, it's been so fun. You guys are awesome. <laughs> but uh, thanks again. I will see you in the next series.